The purpose of this uh, video series is to uh, provide an educational video for patients uh, who are considering undergoing the HIPEC procedure. Uh, at the David C. Cook Center for Regional uh, Perfusion Cancer Therapy, we perform a number of these procedures. We've uh, put together a team of physicians, physicians assistants, nurses, uh, and other staff uh, that work together to make sure that things go smoothly for our patients. Uh, it is very important that patients undergoing these complex procedures, however, understand uh, what it's all about and what, what's to be expected uh, for their care. And that's the purpose of this video. And uh, we've taken different specialists and different aspects of care to come together and uh, describe uh, different aspects of the treatment for, this, uh, for, for carcinomatosis. Uh, these are the presentations that you'll see. Dr. Zay is going to talk about patient selection uh, for these types of procedures and disease states uh, that we treat with these types of procedures. Uh, Heather Jones, our physician's assistant, will talk about the preoperative workup orders and the uh, consents for these procedures. Uh, Dr. Larry Marr um, uh, will discuss the anesthetic considerations uh, from the Department of Anesthesia. Dr. James Pinkpank We'll talk about the operative technique for debulking inside a reductive surgery, uh, OR nursing considerations, and uh, the technical aspects of the perfusions will be presented by Sharon Hess, our clinical specialist in the operating room. Perioperative care will be uh, discussed by our nurse practitioner, Becca Holskin, uh, and follow-up care and what we do in terms of research and data collection will be discussed by Dr. Stephen Arndt. Uh, overall, uh, while we will not cover everything, we hope this is a comprehensive uh, review and education piece uh, regarding HIPEC.